Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a spring themed or journal page in my watercolor journal. And to create the background I'm using some tissue paper and this tissue paper is stamped with some vintage spring stamps from Rubber Dance. I use gel medium to stick the tissue paper down. I also picked an old book page that I want to glue to the background and on this one I painted some watercolor flowers. I recently figured out that there are many old book papers that take watercolors really well and where watercolors have a really nice look. So this is one of the papers where I didn't like the results so um, I just use it as a background piece. When the background is completely dry, I go in with some gesso and just tone the background down and blend everything together. For this technique I prefer the heavy gesso because you get a better coverage. And with that um, scraper tool you can also add just a thin layer. When I use gesso to prime a page, I just use a normal gesso and my favorite is the Liquitex gesso. When the gesso is completely dry, I use my Neocolor crayons to add some color to the background. Neocolor crayons are my favorites and whenever a beginner asks me um, what I would recommend to get to start with art journaling and mixed media, I always say you need gesso and some gel medium or stuff like that for collaging and neocolor crayons because you can do so much with them and that's a good way to start and you don't have to buy many of them just your favorite colors and so you don't have to spend too much money
I have dried the first layer with my heat tool and now go in with another layer. Um, the reason why I dry it is because I don't want to create mud with all the colors mixing. And also if the color is dry it needs a bit more work to re-wet it so I don't get it mixed too much into the first layer. What I also love about the Neocolor crayons, you can super easily create splatters by just scribbling the stick onto your plate or onto your craft mat and then dilute it with water and spritz it to the page. If you are interested in close-up images of my pages, you will find always a blog post and this is linked in my description box and there I have some pictures uploaded. Now it's time to look for a focal point and I thought I would use this textured bird stamp and it is stamped to watercolor paper and colored in very quickly and I used almost the same colors I've used on the background. This makes look everything more cohesive. Before I glue down the bird I decided that I need something for him to sit on or to sit in so that he doesn't fly on the page without his wings open and here I'm using one of our bold and beautiful flowers and just stamp it with a plum ink to the background. Something else you can do with the Neocolor crayons is color in stamped images and therefore you just scribble your stick onto your craft mat and then pick it up with a water brush and color in your stamped images. To make it look a bit more wild and textured, I'm also using one of the Weed Love stamps with just simply black ink. feeling that this white border around my bird doesn't match the page very well so I decided to cut the bird out directly on the black outline and you see that I cut his feet off but I will just stamp the bird directly to my page and then glue the colored bird into that stamped image and then I will have the feet back. Now I'm stamping a title to my page and I use the word dream from the affirmation stamp set. I stamp it directly to the page because I'm on the right side of my journal. That means all the pages underneath are not very bulky and textured 
and the chance that the imprint will be cured is really high. But of course you could also stamp it to tissue paper and then glue it down with gel medium. I'm adding some more words from the Mixer Sentiment stamp set and I just stamped it to a pattern paper and then cut the words out. To make the title pop out more from the background, I just use watercolors and color in the letters. And here you see the finished page. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you see us next time. Take care and bye.